Welcome to my YouTube channel, House Plan to the Drawing. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to design a cutting wall. That's to redesign a cutting wall, to reshape a cutting wall in Akikad, okay? Uh, without any further ado, let's just get right into the business. Not not this project, actually. I'm going to be showing you guys on how to design it, like, not this project, but this project. Yeah, I'm going to be working with this one. So, this is what we're actually working with right here. How to design a cotton wall to this shape actually it was one of my subscribers that gave me this uh he asked me to design a cotton wall like the way it was in this picture he asked me how he's gonna be able to do it this is the picture he gave me and i ended up doing something like this in archicad though it's not 100 because i can't get the dimension but you guys understand what i'm trying what i'm, what I'm trying to do so i'm going to be opening a new project uh which is this blank one right here so this is actually a new project i'm going to go to the ground floor and i'm going to bring in the cotton wall this is the cotton wall right here i'm just gonna click then come here click drag drag and make sure i'm making a straight line if you want to get a straight line hold on shift on your keyboard then click now you're done so i'm just going to go to the 3d view to go and check what i've done and uh, i'm just going to look for it so this is it right here okay as you can see from the picture so this is a picture. The picture I was given is not it's not it's not as long as what what I'm seeing on, on the 3D. So I'm just going to try and reduce it. So I'm going to go to the ground. Click this node right here. Make sure you're selecting this move node. Then just reduce it uh, like this. Okay, like this. I think this is better. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go to 3D view to go and check what I've done. So we have we have this right here. So what I'm going to try to do next now is I'm going to try to move remove the panels. Uh, they are different from is it from this other panel right here okay so click on the cotton wall click on the settings dialog right here and let's look for panels as you can see panels right here now uh this is clicked already so i'm going to click uh, this right here this cotton wall panel settings click on it and we have it is glass okay so i'm going to click on this the extent panel too and select all of this at once okay so i'm going to select this and look for glass here i'm going to click glass and uh, click on OK. So as you can see, everything becomes glass. So what we want to do next now is like the way it was in our picture right here. We want to form this frame right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, those frames. We want to form them real quick. Click on the cotton wall. Click on the settings dialog, and let's go to shims right here. Shims. Then click this one right here. This uh, mullion frame. Click on it and let's increase the width by let's say uh, let's say two thousand. Click on OK. So we have something like this. So without any without any without any other stress into our work, let's click on the settings dialog again. As you can see, the cutting was still being selected. Click on the settings dialog again, and let's come down to this right here. This yeah, this one here. Let's give it a distance of 2000. Okay. Now click on OK. Now you have one panel here. Uh, sorry, one, one frame here. One frame here. One frame here. One frame here. So it's one, two, three, four. Just the way it was in this picture right here. One, two, three, four. So the next thing we want to do right now is start positioning them to how it looks like, like this. So we want to start positioning them the right way. The best way and the fastest way for you to for you guys to go about this right now is click this, click on edit, okay? Click this, hold on shift on your keyboard, click this, click this, okay? Press Ctrl D on your keyboard, click this node right here, make sure you're holding shift and just try to move it like this, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing for this other other one right here. You can click on the cutting wall, click on edit, click this, hold on shift on your keyboard, click this click this press ctrl d click that black node there and try to stretch it like this if you guys want more accurate measurement and uh more accurate measurement i suggest you guys to go to the south elevation uh the south elevation right here okay so click on double click on the south elevation here and you have something like this okay so if you guys want to make a precise measurement click on the cutting wall click on edit then Click this one right here, hold on shift, click this, click this, press ctrl D, click the black node and move. Okay, so this is one of the ways you guys can 
you guys can go about this okay uh you guys can also i'm also going to try and reduce the cutting wall again i'm just going to try and reduce it a little bit so it fits the the design of the picture okay the design of the picture okay like this so i'm going to go to the 3d view to check what i've done and uh, okay i have something like i think it's better like this so uh let me show you guys something real quick you guys can see that in the picture right here we have a wall here okay and this wall connects like this okay the wall connects down like this okay so we're going to make this right now so i'm going to go to the archicad right now and try to show you guys what i'm talking about so for you guys to do that right now what you guys can do is let's say for instance we have uh the wall let's say our wall starts from here So let's go to 3D to check it out. So okay, let's say that the wall is as is as long as this, okay? Alright. So the, so what we want to do right now is we want to try and put in the wall right here, okay? So what we want to do is go to the ground floor and uh go to alt, select this, and I'm just going to try and do this like this, not like that, like this. So I'm going to click this and try to re reduce this. So let's go to 3D V to check it out. So we have something like this, yeah. So I'm going to click on the wall again. Click on this node here. I'm trying to reduce this wall by selecting a stretch height. And let's say we come down to somewhere around, around here, okay. And uh, yeah, just let's, let's just say something like this, okay. So what we want to do right now is we want to try and make sure this frame right here levels with this one and levels with this one and this comes here and this is also here so what's the next thing i want to do right now so i'm going to go to the south elevation so i can make a precise measurement so i'm going to click on this and click on, on the cutting wall and click on edit then click this click the frame other shift click this press ctrl d zoom in very well click this point here i try to put it to this point here okay then um click this hold on shift click this or click keep holding on shift and click that one too and press ctrl d click this edge here and move it to this edge here okay so now we've done we are done with that particular aspect okay if you go to our 3d view we should be having something like this okay so if i go to the picture you guys can see that it's actually forming into what we see as what you are seeing in the picture i'm going to click on the on the frame on the on the cutting wall and click on edit if i click this panels here you can see that they have been selected as you can see they have been selected if i click this one it's also been selected this one's also been selected this one's also been selected but if you guys select this one as you can see the glass is still inside this wall so what you want to try and do now is to try and which want to try and remove the glass okay to be different from this other one right here okay so what we are going to do right now I'm going to uh, click on the cutting wall, click on edit and hold on alt here, select this right here, then come here, I'm going to click and try to make a new one, make sure you're adding shift, I'm going to make a new one here and click, okay? So once that is done, I'm going to go to my south elevation to make a precise, a precise, as you can see, it's not been accurate, okay? So I'm going to click this, click on the cutting wall, click on edit again now click this okay no not that click the middle of this okay since this is the wall so this is under glass but you guys understand what i'm trying to say this is this is the, the the white one is the wall then click the middle of this to bring this down right here to this point here okay so when you're done click this one again and try to stretch it make sure you're selecting stretch and stretch it to this side right here okay so once you're done you've actually demarcated this this panel from this panel here okay if you go to our 3d as you can see we're going to be having something as simple as this okay so this is one of the ways you guys can reshape your cutting wall in archicad okay so uh the next thing i'm going to do right now is click on the cutting wall click on edit and click this panel 
click this panel as you can see this panel now is different from this panel okay they're not the same anymore as you can see they're not the same anymore so i can click this one right click and delete the panel okay click this right click and delete the panel make sure that for you to delete it you actually click on the quality one and press edit because that's the only way you guys can delete those panels okay so after i've deleted those panels you guys will be having something as beautiful as this as it was this walls they connect as you can see the slab than the walls okay so i've been shown so what that's what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to try and i'm going to try and move this up click on click the quarter wall and click on edit and i'm going to try and make uh, i'm going to try and reduce this to be as at this level click this and try and reduce it to be as at that level then click this press ctrl d and i'm going to delete this one because it's not needed the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go to the south elevation okay okay and i'm going to readjust this So let's say we have something like this now, okay? Let's go to your 3D view and let's check it out. So we have something like this. So the next thing we want to do right now is we want to try and connect the walls, okay? For me to for me to connect the walls right now, I'm just going to select on this wall, Ctrl Shift D. I'm going to try and make a copy of this one right here, okay? I'm going to try and reduce the length, okay? Reduce the length like that, and. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to press escape and come back to the south elevation and click on the wall, right click, uh, sorry, click on the node and select stretch height and uh, click that, okay, click this Ctrl Shift D and let's make a copy of this to this other side here, okay, now let's select on the black node and make sure you're selecting straight length and just click. So it merges now, okay? So it merges, and uh, if you if you go to the to the 3D view, it should look something like this, okay? It should look something like this. As you can see, I'm trying to make it look like how it was in the in the picture. As you can see. So for you to actually model it, if you guys don't want the al the aluminium color, what you guys can do is click on the cutting wheel, click on the settings dialog here, and we're going to come to panels. Okay, now you come to panels, click this one right here, this million frame, click on it, and, and it's going to switch you back to frames. Okay, so it's supposed to be in frames. So if you select this one here, this million frame right here, there's this middle one, click on the metal here, and click this. You can come and change to any kind of color you guys want. I'm going to just go with the metal iron. Okay, and I'm going to click on OK. So as you can see, it colors this one. Click on the settings dialog again, and let's click on the transform frame. Okay, click this, and it's still metal iron. So click on OK. So it colors this ones. Okay. So click on the settings dialog again, and click this, click this, and click on OK. So it colors everything at once. Okay. So I'm doing. I'm showing you guys how, how the thing is coloring one one by one, just so you guys can know where they are so you guys if you guys want to color it differently so just this three right here okay and now uh, let's cancel so we have something as beautiful as this so if you guys want to reduce the size of this of the cotton wall what you guys can do is come to the south elevation click on the on the, on the cotton wall click this black node select on this stress slanted height and just come and reduce it like this okay so it has this nice uh, 
look as you can see we have a, a problem right here okay so what we're gonna do is go to the south elevation and try to delete click on edit and try to delete this there we go we have something as beautiful as this okay you guys can decide to change the color the way you guys want okay so if you guys want to make it to be as tiny as the way these ones are okay because this one they look like like they're gonna be like channel 5 yeah i'm just looking at it maybe channel 5 or 30. so if you guys want to make it look like this you can just do this right here click on the cutting wall click on the settings dialog come to frames here the transform frame click transform frame type and geometry then come here okay frame width click this uh i like this and change it to be let me say channel 5 okay okay click on the million frame change this to be channel 5 too then click on the boundary frame and change this to be channel 5 click on the corner frame and change this to be channel 5 okay then click on ok so it's gonna look as tiny as the as as the one we saw in the in the picture okay but you guys know that if you guys want to reduce this you guys have to make some some um as you can see it looks like this so you guys have to make some minor adjustments in the south elevation the cotton wall is actually going to shrink because you actually change the the dimension so you guys have to make some adjustments so i would suggest you guys do this earlier earlier on uh when i started doing the video okay so this this doesn't stress you guys out So as you can see you guys are gonna be having something like this okay so if you go to our 3d view you should be having something like this okay it looks exactly how it was in the picture okay uh, it looks exactly like it was in the picture so this is one of the ways uh you guys can design a cotton wool in archicad okay so this was the ones the one i did earlier as a project so this were just lights this is just light okay the uh, wall light okay and this is just a picture of a uh, uh, grass for okay cat to render so this is one of the ways to reshape a cotton wall in, in archicad okay uh thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next tutorial video I just want to